well, these questions are really beautiful, very inspiring to be able to talk about this. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I will say one more thing also about being destroyed or burned by indeed um, a, a higher being. Um, so destruction is, is liberation in one way, and um, the, uh, the fire of a higher being, depending upon how quickly it goes, it can like really destroy you. Uh, if it goes very quickly, but if the fire is applied slowly, it is just it stimulates you to transform, to transmute. So you can compare it a little bit to cooking. So if I uh, add too much heat to the meal I'm making, it just burns and becomes dry, and it's yeah, it just becomes all black, and this is a terrible thing. But if I add a little bit of heat slowly and I add the right type of spices and I stir and very slowly it will transform from an edible ingredient to a very nice meal. And in the same way also the adding of these higher energies of this yeah, mystical fire should be done in the right dosage at the right speed then it will really help your transformation. Um, but if it is done too quickly it becomes a destructive process. So uh, we should, in a way, burn, but it is more like alchemical burning. It's more like a transformational process than really being destroyed very quickly. Um, this being destroyed can be a very good thing if it is a sacrifice. So, for instance, if like uh, a Messiah, Jesus, you, have a, you are actually belonging to a very high world already, to a formless universe, but you sacrifice yourself by falling into a very low universe of form where you're restricted to being only in one time, one place, in one body at a time and you have to be there just to fulfill certain tasks then by destroying all these lower bodies you actually return to your normal self so this is a, and then destruction is really a process of liberation so Usually if a higher being destroys you, uh, or if you destroy a lower being, you should in a way destroy it up to a level which is natural to it. So also uh, if you look for instance at a person who's basically a good person but for instance they have developed a drug habit. and They're trapped in this drug habit. So and if you in a way do something to them and you really burn away that drug habit you restore them to the original person they were. And this is usually how this process of destruction goes. So often you hear stories of, uh, of prophets or saints who are taken back into heaven or taken bodily into heaven. And this is usually that their lower energy bodies, including their physical body, is in a way removed or transformed so that they return to their original state. So in a way they're already a prophet, they just take incarnation, manifest that and then they remove all traces of their being again to, uh, 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 to do that. And for instance if you look at saints, often saints deliberately uh, sacrifice or continue sacrificing themselves by maintaining the link to their material selves, to their material bodies. So the saint is allowed to transform and to go into these higher spheres, but as a continual sacrifice they will maintain lower energy bodies or a connection to their bones or other objects which belong to them to act as a, as a bridge between the material world and the higher cosmos. Um, and in the same way certain spiritual masters do this. And they have their bones interred or their physical bodies interred and people go there and usually once a year they will grant a worthy wish. So once a year they will return to their physical remains and become that bridge. So often saints do it continuously but there are also um, yeah, in a way um, Buddhist masters 
or masters in other traditions who would only do that on a certain day. And also certain saints have their name day, on which day they will do it, but not on other days. So this generates a little bit more freedom for the saint to spend more time in the heavens and only temporarily reincarnating and limiting themselves again, sacrificing themselves again. Okay, well, we've talked for um, over an hour and a half. Um, I will uh, send an email to all of you to see what would be a good time for, uh, for meeting next week. In general, I'm available on Wednesdays, Thursdays, uh, Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, so there are four evenings available. Um, so, well, we'll see how that all will go. Thank you very much for your support and uh, 